Hello everyone. Good day. Welcome once again to the Ecotourism Journey channel. Thank you very much everyone for watching my videos and patronizing Ecotourism Journey. If this is your first time in my channel, please click subscribe button below. Kindly hit also the bell icon so that you will be notified for the new uploaded videos. This video is an instructional resource in response to the new normal of delivering academic requirements. The lessons of this video emphasizes the challenges and difficulties in maintaining food safety. This is one of the learning outcomes of risk management as applied to safety, security and sanitation. The following are the objectives. After studying this lesson, you would be able to 1. Describe how food items become unsafe. 2. Determine the challenges to food safety. 3. Apply food safety and sanitation practices. Please stay focused and relax while learning at the same time. How food becomes unsafe for human consumption. What are the difficulties and challenges to food safety? To start with, a foodborne sickness is an infection communicated to individuals through food items consumed. A foodborne disease is viewed as a flare up when 1. At least two individuals have similar side effects subsequent to eating a similar food items. 2. An examination is led by personnel and management. 3. The flare up is affirmed by research facility examination with concrete findings. The challenges and difficulties to food safety includes the following 1. Time, money, and other resources. 2. Language, methods, and culture. 3. Literacy, instruction, and awareness. 4. Pathogens or the microorganisms. 5. Unapproved providers, suppliers, and producers. 6. High hazard clients and high risk of cross contaminations. 7. Staff turnover and employee behavior. How foods becomes unsafe for human consumption. The following are the five danger factors for foodborne illnesses or diseases. 1. Buying food from dangerous sources and suppliers. 2. Neglecting to prepare food accurately and properly. 3. Holding food at inaccurate temperatures. 4. Utilizing defiled or defective hardware, equipment, tools and materials during production. 5. Poor practice of employees' individual sanitation and cleanliness. How food becomes unsafe for human consumption, in terms of Time temperature holding and practices. 1. The method to prevent time temperature abused by staff or employees is effective monitoring. 2. Most foodborne sickness happens on the grounds that TCS food has been time temperature mishandled. 3. TCS food has been time temperature manhandled any time it stays between 41 asterisk F and 135 asterisk F, 5 asterisk C and 60 asterisk C. That is a temperature danger zone. This is known as the danger zone microorganisms develop and grow rapidly in this range. Food is being time temperature manhandled at whatever point it is dealt with in the accompanying manners or during processing. 1. Cooked to an inappropriate temperature and not properly washed. 2. Held at an inappropriate temperature like in the temperature danger zone. 3. Unproperly thawed and cooled or warmed food inaccurately. The more time food remains in the temperature danger zone, the more opportunities microbes can develop and grow rapidly. To protect food from cross-contamination, reduce the time it spends in the temperature danger zone. On the off chance that food is held in this range for at least 4 hours, you should dispose it out. The following suggests or recommends to practice holding of foods in proper temperature control. 1. Monitor time and temperature. Learn which food items ought to be checked and monitored regularly. 2. Make sure personnel handling foods can comprehend what to do, how to do it, and why it is significant. 3. Make sure food items are in an appropriate thermometers, available temperature and accessible. 4. Regularly record temperatures and times they are taken as needed. 4. Minimize the time that food items placed or kept in the temperature danger zone. Formulate strategies and techniques to restrict the time TCS food keeps in the temperature danger zone. This incorporates restricting the measure of food that can be taken out from a cooler or storage facility while preparing the food. 5. Practice corrective activity if time temperature norms are not met. Make sure personnel handling food items recognize what to do when time and temperature principles are not met. 
Example, bean stew on a steam table temperature falls under 135 degrees Fahrenheit 57 degrees Celsius following two hours, you may warm it to the right temperature or toss it out. Foods can be contaminated with microorganisms through kitchen equipment, materials and tools if these are not properly cleaned and or sanitized. Microbes can be contaminated starting with one food then onto the next by utilizing a similar cutting tools or other utensil without washing the surface or utensil in the middle of employments. A food that is completely cooked can become re-contaminated in the event that it contacts other other surfaces and food personnel handled with it. What is cross-contamination? Cross-contamination is the transfer of microorganism or bacteria through using unsafe materials, surfaces and touching without washing hands. Poor personal individual cleanliness and hygiene. Poor cleanliness and hygiene can be an indication of that employees are not willing to support the initiative to providing food safety. Poor cleanliness and personal hygiene affects psychological or enthusiastic problems of personnel. Some people may create poor hygiene habits because of the unavailability of resources and help from the community socially. Comma. Physical incapacities can likewise meddle with one's capacity to think about oneself and may bring about an individual being not able to take care of individual cleanliness. Kitchen safety tips for personal hygiene. Utilize these pointers to set your kitchen personnel's hygiene and sanitation standards to prevent food from contamination with microorganisms. Personal hygiene. Individual hygiene and sanitation is frequently the reason for some food contamination cases. Nonetheless, it will in general be de-organized with regards to sanitation. Watching and checking your kitchen staff's cleanliness and hygiene is significant to avoid cross-contamination. The following should be observed. 1. Employees' attire must complete components such as toque or chef's cap, neckerchief, double-breasted chef's coat, apron, trouser, and crocs. 2. Uniforms, wear a perfect uniform each day before entering to working environment. 3. Aprons, different full covers ought to be worn at various prep stations, for example pastry, fish, meat and vegetables. 4. Gloves, different dispensable gloves to be utilized when dealing with raw meat, seafoods and vegetables preparation of foods. 5. Shoes, wear just non-slip, full secured shoes or crocs. Hygiene and sanitation practices. In connection to wearing proper and complete uniform, this can assure safe foods items served to customers, give positive impact to establishments and satisfy customers. There must be a proper discipline among food handlers, employees and personnel in order to attain profitability of the food service establishments. The following are the do's and don't. Do. 1. Keep hairs and fingernails short and always. 2. Hairs should be tied up. 3. Wash hands every often and completely with cleanser especially coming from a restroom. 4. Ensure working environment cleaned, sanitized including all surfaces with disinfectants. 5. Utilize chopping boards according to colors and purpose. 6. Use separate knives in chopping ingredients. 7. Ensure to dispose entrails and other food waste properly in appropriate disposal area. Don't. 1. Sneeze when holding and facing food items. 2. Scratch your body when preparing, holding, cooking and serving foods. 3. Rub your face, nose on your shoulder and arms. 4. Clean your ears with your fingers from time to time. 5. Wipe off sweat with your uncovered hands and shoulders. 6. Wear accessories like rings, earring, bracelets and necklace. 7. Come to work when you are not feeling well. Proper practice of personal hygiene is basic and critical in any food service establishments. Personal hygiene and sanitation practices includes. 1. Take a bath daily and regularly. 2. Keeps hair clean and secured or tied back always. 3. Ensure to wear clean garments, uniforms and footwear as required in working environment. 4. Hand washing routinely using running water and soap. 5. Use clean utensils for tasting food always. 6. Using separate cloths for cleaning utensils and dinner wares. 7. Use separate towels in wiping hands and working tables. 8. Ensure to install separate waste baskets for proper segregations. Hand washing properly and regularly should be practiced. 
Some of the critical aspects that a personnel should ensure washing of hands immediately after the following. 1. Sneezing, hacking, or contacting your mouth, eyes and or nose. 2. Using the washroom. 3. Smoking or utilizing toothpicks. 4. Handling raw ingredients. 5. Cleaning and cleaning tables, food planning surfaces, or gear. 6. Handling dirtied items, trash, or cash. The means for appropriate handwashing are as per the following. 1. Wash hands with warm water. 2. Use liquid sanitizer and foam during washing with at least 20 to 30 seconds. 3. Scrub backs of hands, wrists, all fingers, and under nails. 4. Rinse under running water, pointing down toward the channel. 5. Dry with a paper towel clean cloth. 6. Turn off taps and open washroom entryway utilizing the paper towel. It gets truly tumultuous during eating hours, and the exact opposite thing you need is for someone to get harmed in the kitchen. Here are a few different ways to lessen the danger of such mishaps happening following our kitchen safety tips. 1. Do not rush nor run inside the kitchen. Floor might be slippery and it can cause danger. 2. Always watch out for the oven, stiver and burners. Do not leave ovens unattended, a bare fire may before long grow into a consuming kitchen. 3. Be cautious with the gas. There might be a leaking. Turn off oven when not in use. 4. Store hazardous items securely. Do not put sharp or hot objects in uncovered or shrouded corners. During eating hours, kitchen staff might be unconscious of the danger. Be alert always inside the kitchen. 5. Get and use appropriate tools, equipment and materials for cooking the types of dishes. 6. Keep a medical aid unit close by. Always place an emergency treatment pack and fire dowser close enough. Guarantee that both are not expired. Everyone has a role and responsibility in the kitchen, not just the culinary expert. Being watchful, alert and willing assists with untoward incident in the kitchen as an indication of respect to property and establishment. Poor cleaning and sanitizing in the kitchen to take note. 1. Equipment and utensils are not washed, rinsed, and properly every after usage. 2. Food contact surfaces are cleaned off as opposed to being washed, rinsed, and sterilized. 4. Wiping materials like cloths are not placed or dried out for sanitation and disinfection. 4. Sanitizing agent was not properly used and prepared effectively. Washing and sanitizing kitchen items. Dishes and cooking utensils. Wash and clean any dishes, pots, container, and cooking utensils that were in contact with floodwater. Water for washing and purifying must be guaranteed safe to utilize. For washing and sanitizing. 1. Remove separable parts, for example, edges, plastic or wooden handles, and screens. 2. Wash dishes, pots, skillet, and utensils and withdrew parts in hot, foamy water. Utilize a brush, if essential. 3. Rinse in clear water subsequent to washing. 4. Place things in a wire basket or other holder and submerge them in a sterilizing arrangement. Disinfecting arrangement can be set up by blending 1 tablespoon unscented chlorine blanche in 1 gallon of warm, not heated, water. 5. Air dry dishes in a spotless and cleaned dish rack. Utilizing a dish towel could once again pollute the dishes. Sanitize. 1. Use a chemical or cleaning agents to slaughter unsafe microscopic organisms on non-food contact surfaces. 2. Pantries, floors, roofs, counters, and the side dividers of enormous hardware. Sterilize. Utilizing a chemical or cleaning agent, boiling water, or steam on a hot temperature to avoid the growth of microorganisms. Hot to clean iron pots and other kitchen utensils? 1. Wash with cleaning chemicals and clean water through using a stiff brush, scouring pad, or steel wool. 2. Wipe items with an oil-saturated cloth or a commercial rust remover if rust remains. 3. Wash repeatedly in hot, soapy water, rinse if needed, and dry thoroughly. 4. Season iron pots and utensils with a minimal amount of cooking oil to remove dirt. How to clean aluminum pans, pots and utensils. 1. Clean thoroughly with hot water and soap using scouring pads and gently scrub the surface. 2. Sanitize using the bleaching chemicals with warm water and soak the items appropriately. 3. 
To remove dark stains from aluminum pots and pans, fill pan with water with vinegar and baking soda. Boil with at least 10 minutes, scour with steel wool, wash with soap, rinse, and dry in an appropriate location. Foods most likely to become unsafe. Time and temperature control for safety also known as TCS foods includes the following. 1. Milk and dairy products. 2. Poultry products like eggs and chicken meat. 3. Meat products like beef, pork, and lamb. 4. Freshwater and seafood products like fish, shellfish and crustaceans. 5. Some of the bakery products like cake. 6. Tofu or other soy protein products. 7. Sprouts and similar sprout seeds products. 8. Sliced melons, cut tomatoes and other types of vegetables and fruits. 9. Cut green leafy vegetables. 10. Cooked rice, corn and other cereal products. Ready-to-eat food items are foods that can be eaten without further process for 1. Preparation, 2. Washing, 3. Cooking. Such ready-to-eat food items includes the following. 1. Cooked food items. 2. Washed fruits and vegetables. 3. Deli meat like burger pate, sausages and bacon. 4. Bakery items cake, pastry, cakes, etc. 5. Sugar, spices, sauces and seasonings. How to thaw TCS foods. TCS food can be thawed using the following strategies. 1. Refrigeration, thaw at a temperature of 41 degrees or lower. 2. Running water, submerge food under running water. 3. Microwaving, only to be used if food will be cooked immediately after thawing. 4. Cooking, include thawing in the cooking process. The following are the TCS holding temperatures. 1. Cold food items must be maintained at 41 degrees Celsius or less. 2. Hot food must be maintained at 135 degrees Fahrenheit or above or serve immediately while hot. 3. Ensure to check the temperature from time to time. How to cool food items. Food items must be passed through the temperature danger zone quickly prevent the growth of microorganisms. The temperature danger zone is 5 to 60 degrees Celsius. This this the zone that microorganisms can grow rapidly and multiply. One of the effective strategies to cool food is to reduce its size or volume. Reheating foods. Food items that will be served immediately can be reheated to any temperature. This ensure that food items were cooked and cooled appropriately. Ensure to keep reheated food items at a holding temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. The food items also needs to be at this temperature for at least 15 seconds before serving. Please take note of the FATTOM. Food. Microorganisms needs foods to grow and multiply. Acid. This is the acidity level of the food items. If acid is low, this means that microorganisms can grow and multiply rapidly. Time. This is where microorganisms can grow if food items are placed inappropriately and not stored properly. Temperature. This is the condition where microorganisms can grow because of the temperature abuse. Oxygen. Microorganisms can grow also through air. Moisture. Microorganisms can grow rapidly because of the moisture content. If the water level is high, that is an opportunity for the microorganisms to grow. The following are the populations who are at the high risk of foodborne illnesses. 1. People at an elderly age. 2. Young children. 3. People with very weak immune system. The following are the strategies in keeping food safe for human consumption in terms of handling foods. 1. Ensure not to abuse time and temperature. 2. Handle food properly to prevent cross-contamination. 3. Ensure employees handling foods applies personal hygiene. 4. Ensure to acquire ingredients from an accredited or reputable suppliers and producers. 5. Ensure to maintain cleanliness and sanitation in the working environment and tools. The following are the safety tips on how to keep food safe in terms of employee training. One. Ensure to train personnel to observe food safety procedures. 2. Ensure to provide training from time to time for continuous improvement. 3. Ensure to provide all personnel with food safety knowledge, skills and attitude. 4. 
Ensure to provide individual safety role and responsibilities. 5. Ensure to keep employees with positive values to support the initiatives of the business. 6. Ensure to monitor performance and behavior of the employees. 7. Ensure to document everything in the associated with the operations of the business. 8. Make a follow-up to all employees if they are helping in the implementation. To summarize, this lesson discusses the following. 1. The difficulties in ensuring food items are safe for human consumption. 2. The techniques and strategies on how to maintain cleanliness, hygiene and sanitation in the working environment including equipment and materials. 3. The importance of FATTOM and temperature danger zone. 4. The techniques on how the personnel work with compassion and respect. I believe that this lesson is very much useful in school, working environment and even in your own household level. I wish that everything in this video means a lot to every one of you. For further information, please do not hesitate to post message at the comment section below. Please click subscribe and bell icon so that you will be updated for the next lessons. Thank you very much. God bless.